Hey guys, just Greg here. Seeing Halloween is around the corner, I thought, why not have a special spooky Halloween week with creepy and scary videos? So let's start it off with a creepypasta story called Knock Knock. On March the 13th, 2006, a 23-year-old woman was found dead in her apartment in Long Beach, New York. The police were shocked at how much blood there was around the entire apartment. Philip Green from the LBPD stated, quote, Blood. The smell of sulfur. I've been working here for 23 years. I have seen the worst of the worst. But this. So much blood. The body was mangled so badly it was difficult for the police to identify the victim. The pathologists who worked on the autopsy stated that this was one of the worst things they had ever seen. Luckily, on the 3rd of April of the same year, the police announced that through DNA testing, they knew the identity of the victim. Her name was Annalisa Vanderberg. When the police tracked down the family members, they came to a shocking discovery. The girl had three brothers who all passed away. Her only sister and her father also passed away. The only living family member she had was her mother. When the police told her mother about her death, her mother stayed silent. Craig Stevenson, who was one of the police officers who were there to bring the bad news, stated the following. When we walked into Mrs. Vanderberg's home to bring the bad news, she looked like it didn't even bother her. And the smell, oh, the house, it, it smelled like rotten eggs, but real bad. When the police questioned Mrs. Vanderburg to get a lead in the case, they came up empty-handed. Annalisa had no enemies, and the only boyfriend she has ever had died in a car crash only five months earlier. On April the 13th, Mrs. Vanderburg was found dead in her house. The crime scene was just as sickening as Annalisa's. This time, the police found something even more startling. She knocks. She knocks. She knocks. That was written in blood on the walls of her bathroom. The police identified the blood and discovered that the blood belonged to Annalisa. The Long Beach Police Department called the FBI to help with the case and they came to the conclusion that this might have been committed by a serial killer. When the FBI looked into the deaths of all the family members of the Vandenberg family, they found the following. Jacob, the oldest brother, had died the 13th of October, 2005. Michael died on the 13th of November, 2005. Peter, the youngest brother, died on the 13th of December, 2005. Henry, the father, died on the 13th of January, 2006. And Larissa, her only sister, died on the 13th of February, 2006. In May of 2006, the FBI also found a shocking file on the computer of the youngest, Peter. This file was overlooked before because the police didn't even notice it. The only reason they looked at it now was because of the name. The file was named knockknock.exe. When the investigators opened the file, the screen turned white. The entire screen was just white. The investigators thought nothing of it until the next day. Emilio Lopez, one of the investigators, committed suicide on the 13th of May 2006. Nearly half of the people who were investigating the case wanted out. They were scared. Some stated they saw a girl being brutally murdered. Some said they saw a little girl just staring at them. But others? Well, they just saw a white screen. The file was leaked online but the FBI took it down immediately. However, there are some rumors that the file can still be found on the internet. Was it a coincidence? Was it indeed a serial killer? Or could there really have been something about that file? In 2008, 
the FBI has stated that the Vandenberg murders were not murders at all. They ruled it as natural causes. What was natural about it? How could someone's face that has been severely disfigured be classed as natural causes? Some of the former investigators acted as whistleblowers. One of the whistleblowers who wants to remain anonymous stated the following. When we opened the file, the screen simply turned white. It was creepy because everything was dead quiet. We were just sitting there, all nine of us, and no sound at all, just staring at a white screen. Emilio got so scared that he begged us to turn it off. I, I took Emilio aside and asked him what was wrong. Emilio said to me, do you smell it? I, I smell rotten eggs. I simply joked that I did, but in fact, I didn't really smell anything. Emilio continued, I, I, I saw a young girl. She, she was looking right at me. She whispered, knock, 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 Th that's it. Why is she repeating it? And how does she know my name? Who is she, man? When I told him there was no girl, and there was no sound at all, his face became as white as snow. Then he went home early, and that was the last time I saw him alive. Listen, I really don't know if what he saw was real or not, but the only advice I can give people is this. If you see that file, don't download it. Don't watch it, because if she knocks, she will get you.